Hey guys, um, I know I don't know, it's, it's weird, <laughs> but welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, because this is going to be my first video, I'm going to be posting up, um, I always, always want to make a video, but I feel like I don't have time, oh well, I say that in my head, I don't have time, but I always have time, but, you know, I take care of my little brother, and yeah, it taking care of a toddler while you try to like make something up it doesn't add up anyways um i do want to make a video about how i found out well how me and my husband found out i was i'm i'm pregnant <laughs> um i'm currently 23 weeks and yeah so i want to do my makeup chit chat tell you a story about how i found out i was pregnant um, how I found, how we found that we were pregnant, um, but yeah, let's get started. Anyways, sorry for the mess in the background, guys. I do live back with my parents, because, you know, if you guys don't know, well, you guys, of course you guys know, um, everything's going high, and for one bedroom, no, it's not it, girl, it is not it, so I'm like, no. So we moved back to my parents' house, so you can see the mess, um, yeah, it's not messy, but, you know, it's just... It's just a one room, like a small, it's not a small room, but it's a, it's a room that you have to put everything in, and I have stuff, he has stuff, and yeah. <laughs> so, um, anyway, back to the story, how we find that I was pregnant. Me and my husband got married, um, on February 12th, no, 13th, sorry, oh my gosh. Sorry guys, pregnancy brain. Um, February 13th, 2021, which was last year, and... We did a good honeymoon. We just did a small wedding in my parents' backyard. And I'll insert photos here if you guys want to see. Um, yes, I'm young. I know. People's like, oh my god, you're young to get married. And yes, I am. I am. Right now, I'm 22. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways. So, we had we had no honeymoon. But we did at like one year anniversary in Guatemala. Um, we were planning it. December, November, December, January, two months advance, and I didn't want to go. I already primed and moisturized my face already, so I'm gonna go straight with my eyebrows. Um, I didn't want to go because, as y'all can hear, well, as y'all know, well, all you guys don't know, but you guys are gonna know sooner or later. Um, I am a cheapskate. I'm not, I'm not a cheap cheapskate, but. I don't like wasting money on things that I'm like, damn, that's a lot. <laughs> and my husband wanted to take me to Guatemala. And I didn't want to go, like I said. And so we just booked it. Um, when we went to Guatemala, we went to, um, I believe the first one we went to was my mom's village and i'm sorry guys if you guys don't i'm sorry i'm like doing my makeup i have a mirror here and if you guys don't see me looking at you guys i'm doing my makeup okay so <laughs> um bear with me so um we went to my mom village at first and stuff like that and then we just did our own thing because my mom went to visit her family and stuff like that and we, we did bring my mom with us because, you know, we are young and I'm not saying, I'm, I don't trust my husband to protect me. I'm not saying that, but, you know, like, I'm scared because, you know, we are in a country where we don't know anything about. <laughs> and so I told my mom, like, can you come with us and stuff like She was like, yeah, she was down. And um, so we went to the village and then we went to Panhachel um and where else we went Antigua but I found out no I got the symptoms in Panhachel I think I got it like two nights or th third night I don't know but I think I got symptoms for the third night so anyway I'll insert photos of like us like walking or uh, insert photos of on the way we, we went climbing and stuff that they like had a nice view and um and I was pregnant <laughs> and you know 
if you guys don't know there and when you guys do go to country you guys you guys are always gonna see street vendors and stuff like that so we reached the top of the mountain and there was a lady that was selling like, cucumbers and I was like, oh my god, like, I want cucumbers. Cause, and I was dehydrated. And I didn't want to drink a soda. Like, who drinks soda when they're dehydrated? Not I. Well, sometimes, but not I. And so I was like, oh, how much was the pepino, the, the cucumbers? And she was telling me the price and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, cool, whatever. And I just went in with, um, with the salt and limon, which is lemon, lime. Um, so we basically... I ate it, of course, and I thought it was the cucumber. No, no, no. We ate before we went to the hotel, and I thought it was the freaking um, pupusas. If you guys know what pupusas is, like basically a tortilla that's with beans and pork or cheese or whatever you guys want to add in it, it's, and then you guys make it so it looks like a bread, but it's not a bread. But anyway, um, I think that's how you explain it, right? I don't know how to explain these things, but. Yeah, so I thought it was the pupusas. We ate pupusas at uh, freaking Guatemala. And you know, I love pupusas. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying like, oh, that thing got me freaking food poisoning. No, I love them. My auntie makes them here. And you know, I thought it was the same thing. It was, but. Anyways. I got sick. Um, that night. And I was like, dang, look, that lady food poisoning me. Which is the, the cucumber lady. I was playing that poor lady, like. I'm so rude. And I was like, no, it might be the pupusas. I'm like, yeah, it could be the pupusas. And, and girl, tell me how I was, like, dying. I was pooping. I know this is TMI, but I was, like, basically, you know, <laughs> taking, it was taking my soul out, like, literally in the toilet. And I was throwing up. And, um, yeah, and I was like, oh, my heck, no, like, what's going on? I got scared because I didn't wear my mask at the moment because, you know, whenever you're traveling, you want to take photos every moment. I know my eyebrows look weird, but um, it's still not concealed yet, so bear with me. Um, um, so, yeah. so, I didn't wear a mask. I was like thinking, like, no, I don't think so because I'm going to take photos and I'm cute. I have makeup on. Even though I didn't wear makeup at all on the trip because... I knew what we were going to do was going to be hot as heck. And I was like, no, I am not trying to, like, waste makeup and be sweaty and be oily in my photos. Because that's not me, girl. And anyway, so we got, I thought I got COVID. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm sick. We went that morning. We were going to go to Antigua. And, um, but I couldn't do it. I was like, no, I'm like, I'm sick. And, you know, my husband was like, okay, we're going to go to the pharmacy because um, I didn't want to go to the hospital. My God, no. <laughs> and we went to the, he went to the pharmacy. He got me some pills. And it didn't help. Like, that thing didn't help. And I'm surprised I didn't throw that up, like, at that moment because I'll tell you later on the story. But, yeah, I didn't throw up those pills. So I just went and we packed up and we got and we left. But I was not feeling it. I was, I was feeling like crap the whole day. And tell me how Antigua and Panahacha is two hour drive. I know it's not a lot, but to me it's not a lot. And I was like, dang it. Like, um, like oh my God, like, how am I supposed to like live? <laughs> and the roads, it's bumpy. The roads are bumpy as hell. And I'm like, how the heck am I supposed to get like better, you know? And I was buying um I, I don't know how to say in English, but it's called sweat on style. Yeah. So yeah, and I was drinking that the whole time and we got to Antigua and I was hungry but I was nauseous at the same time. I threw up once on the road and the roads are like bumpy. I'm telling you guys, you know. And I threw it once, and I felt better. I was like, okay, I feel so much better. Yeah, let's just go to Antigua. Oh, we we're about to not go to Antigua. We we're about to go to Guatemala City and just spend the, the rest of the nights there. Um, and thank God we didn't. <laughs> but 
three. Oh, you remember I did what we got Wendy's when I smoked the food? I was like, no. Not it. I don't want it. And my mom was like, you gotta eat because you are like, you don't have nothing in your stomach. And you know how Hispanic moms are. They force you, <laughs> even though I'm freaking 22, but still, they still force you. And anyway, so she was forcing me and I didn't want to eat. So I want, I threw up in the bathroom in Wendy's and I was scared. I was like, oh my gosh, I think I do have COVID. And you know, that's the first thing that's going to come in your head because there's still COVID around. And, um, sorry guys, I'm like trying to rip this makeup, but it doesn't want to open. And, I was like, okay, whatever, fine, that's fine. And we went shopping. I was not feeling it. Everything smelled nasty to me. Everything smelled like, oh my god, it was disgusting. Like, I, I knew the food was good there because, you know, like, first every street vendor's food are good. But not for me it was disgusting and, no and um we went we went we stayed on Tigo for like I think it was like like three hours I'm pretty sure I felt so bad because like you know this is my first my husband's first time going to like Guatemala and I was like oh my god because of me like he's not gonna freaking enjoy this thing and, and trust me girl and I think two of my nights we're gonna get tested, get a t t COVID test, and I was like, oh my god, like, what if I have COVID? I'm like, freak, like, what if I have to stay here? And I don't want to stay here by myself, like, no. And yeah, so we went to the Guatemala City, and I wasn't feeling it. And the our Uber driver, he basically took, he was, um yeah, he's our Uber driver slash taxi because like. He's basically still with us the whole time trip and anyway so he went to the pharmacy with my husband because um he was saying that maybe she has a stomach flu like maybe she maybe the cucumber or the um pupusas that she ate they didn't sound her right she, you know when did that you know they didn't use their they didn't use clean um and clean knife and and i was like oh my god like dang it like Really cucumber lady, you, you can't clean your fork. No knife. <laughs> and my husband went to the to the pharmacy. He bought me medicine, and I threw them up after I took it. And I was like, whoa! Like I have freaking COVID. <laughs> and my mom was like, you know what? You need some fresh air. We need to go out and get some fresh air. And we went to this one market. It's like a indoor flea market. It had a pharmacy there. And, you know, I was just like, wait, I haven't got my period yet. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my gosh. Because the f second night, the first night in um, you know, you get spotting. And I thought I was going to get my period because that's how my period warns me that, oh, girl, you're spotty. You're going to get your period. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to get my period. And I was like, dang it. Like, you know, girl, when you're in a honeymoon, you want to do wild things. And um, so I was like, dang, I haven't got my period. Like, what if I am pregnant? And then the guy was like, oh, my gosh, she might be pregnant because she's spitting. She's like literally throwing up her pills and the medicine that her, that jason's giving her and i was like oh my gosh so my husband went to the pharmacy and mind you the the taxi guy he lives in a in a city where they don't do pregnancy tests so he didn't know what the heck was a pregnancy test and he was like i don't i don't think they sell it here like i don't i don't think they sell it here, to be honest and so my husband was like crap like what are they selling here like what's gonna happen like and so he went, my husband just went to the pharmacy and he asked the woman, like, hey, do you sell farm, do you sell pregnancy tests? And then they was like, yeah, what you need want? And my husband was like, well, you know, sell pregnancy tests. And so, yeah. so we took a pregnancy test. Well, he bought a pregnancy test, but I didn't took it until we went back to the hotel. And that was like, I think that was like an hour, 
or and a half later. Excuse me. And yeah, an hour and a half later, I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> and it was, it's crazy because I wasn't expecting to have a baby. And people were saying like, whenever you want a baby, it doesn't happen. And whenever you didn't expect it, it's going to happen. And, you know, I didn't want to have a baby. Oh, sorry. This is my brows. I know. <laughs> Um, I didn't want to have a baby because we're in a place where um, I wasn't ready for one. Um, we always talked about one. Yes, I always want. I always um, told my husband like, "Yeah, I want a baby," but I always think about like, "Dang, like I'm not gonna be my baby into this world where I don't even have a place to live," you know. And I know I have my. I know this is like a place to live, but you know, I want to have my own place. I want to have my own house and. <clears throat> And I was working at the moment, and, you know, I, I was a housekeeper, so, yeah. And, yeah, so, and, anyway, we got to the hotel, and I was like, well, you ready for this? And I made a little video, just in case I wasn't pregnant, oh, I mean, I'm pregnant. I made a video, oh, I think that was, like, before. No, that was after, sorry. So, I told my husband, like, okay, I'm going to take it. And he was like, okay. And I think he, like I said, you know how, like, I look funny right now. I don't like it. <laughs> um, I know he want, he wants, he wanted a baby. I know he did. And I'm not saying, like, I didn't want it either. But I did. But, like I said, everything has its time. And, um... So, so, I peed on the test, and, you know, Guatemala pregnancy test is so different compared to here. It's really different. Um, I don't have the freaking paper, but it's really different. Like, it's it's way different from here. Like, here, you know, I don't know if you guys, dang it, I don't know, I don't know. But, I, so, why am I freaking standing? Sorry, guys, I have, like, a... My husband, like, he knows what I'm going through, my pregnancy brain right now. And he's like, oh, my God. And I can't pronounce some words I knew how to pronounce. Well, sometimes. But, <laughs> um, so, okay, so, I peed on a stick. And I was like, okay. I sat down, and, I was, and then two lights appeared. I was like, wait, what? I was like, okay. I was like, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me read this before I get too excited. So, I went to the um, room, and I grabbed the paper, and I was like, wait, what? And I told my husband, I was like, oh, my God, like, am I reading this right? <laughs> and he was like, what? And I was like, I don't know if I'm reading it right. So, we went back to the bathroom, and I was like, wait, and she said, it says two lines if it's pregnant. One line, if not. Okay. And I looked down, and it was two lines, ten seconds, within, I was like I peed in this thing <laughs> and I was like oh my gosh I'm pregnant <laughs> I wasn't crying because I was just shocked because I put my baby to hell I'm not saying like oh my god like I was drinking and stuff like that no I was moving furniture like I am a type of girl that will move stuff around when when it's not supposed to be moved around like I will literally have a bed this way. And I'll be like, next week I'm going to have the bed this way. Like, I'm that weird. So, and I feel bad because, you know, I'm a housekeeper. And, you know, I was smelling this heavy chemicals. I was bending down. I was going up and down the stairs. And I was mopping so heavily. And I was, you know, the woman I was cleaning for, she was a smoker. And I was smelling it. You know, I was like thinking, like, am I pregnant? But, you know, I didn't thought, the, I didn't thought like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I can't smell these things. And, you know, and I was drinking Red Bull on the side of that. I was drinking, like, three cans a day because I was doing a, literally a six to seven hour shift in that one house. And, and which was, like, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I know some of you guys are like, that's not a lot, girl. Well, for me, it was a lot. <laughs> and that was, like, no. Nah. And, um, so... 
Anywho, I said it. I was shocked because I was like, dang, like, I put my baby through so much. And I didn't know. Like, I feel so bad because, like, I told my husband, like, this baby's a miracle. Like, like you know, a lot of women have a miscarriage by pushing stuff, by pushing herself to the limits and drinking energy drink, which, which was really bad because I drink, like, three a day. And I'm telling you guys, like, even when the days I wasn't working, my husband would give me one because I'm... I need energy, and I I do have energy, but I want I wanted I wanted Red Bull. It was like a I don't, I don't know if you guys understand me. It was just like a craving thing, and um, but yeah. So you know I feel bad stuff like that, and my husband was crying. <laughs> of course, you know, if only I had like a little video, I would have been like, let me put the video right here and you guys can see. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I went downstairs because my mom was like literally downstairs. I think she was, I think, yeah, she was literally downstairs. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to tell my mom she's going to be a grandma. And, you know, my mom wasn't expecting a baby from me because I was telling my mom, I don't want no kids because, you know, like, they're going to freaking distract me. And um, I do take care of my, and my little brother. And I'm just like, dang, like, am I actually ready to have a baby? Like, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just like freaking blending stuff around. And I was like, oh my god, like, do I think it's how I really want to be? But, yeah, and I told my mom, if only I recorded her reaction, but I did it because I wasn't thinking. <laughs> and I told my mom, like, like mom, that's a said abuela, which is, you're going to be a grandma. And she was like, what? She's like, no, no. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be a grandma. You're going to be a grandma. I'm going to be a grandma. What the hell am I saying? You're going to be a grandma. And my mom was like, no way. And she started crying. Because, you know, she wasn't expecting it. And she is, like, she's going to be the last aunt or my grandma's daughter to be a grandma. And I'm telling you, y'all, like, no one was expecting this for me. Like, no one. <laughs> and I want to put my blush on right now. And like I said, no, this is my regular basis of makeup, guys. I'm just letting you guys know. So don't think, like, oh, my gosh, she's going to put her eyeshadow on this stuff. No. Um, <laughs> and... I was like, I was like, Mom, you're going to be a grandma. And she was like, no, like, oh, my gosh, I wasn't expecting this from you. I was like, I wasn't expecting it either. And then my little brother, he's only, like, three. No. Yeah, three. And imagine at three, he'll be my uncle. And I was telling my little brother, and I was like, you're going to be a theo. You're going you're gonna to be an uncle. And... I can't explain the happiness and the guilt I had though. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Like I said, I live with my parents and everybody keeps knocking in my room because, you know, I'm famous. No, I'm just kidding. But, anyways, I had the guilt and because I wasn't taking care of myself. I wasn't. No, I'm not saying I was smoking and drinking. No, I wasn't. Um, because I wasn't expecting to have a kid. Um, anytime soon me and my husband wasn't but like we always say if it happens it does happen and god wants to bless us he can bless us and um i have a dog so if you guys heard her <laughs> like pause the video yeah that's the reason why oh, i'm sorry guys my life is so horrible here and i was like i felt so bad and i was telling my husband like Am I actually meant to be a mother yet, right now? You know, like, because whenever we got married, many people were, like, questioning me because we got married, like, so quick. And, and people were questioning me, too, like, so I'm like, oh, you guys are, you guys are pregnant, and, and, you know, Hispanic culture, if you get, in, if you get married to a guy fast, it's because you're pregnant. And... At this, you know, I, w I wasn't pregnant. I and I wanted to get pregnant. I wanted to have a baby, and, but you know, God had His plans, and God was like, "Nope, you guys are not ready yet. And, nope, you guys can't have a kid yet." You know, I was glad with that. I was like, "Hey, God, you know, you know what you're doing and stuff like that." And I was like, "Okay, cool." And I was like, "Yeah." And 
you know. Yeah. So me and my husband got married quickly. So, yeah. <laughs> I know that's not gonna do with it, but I'm just letting you guys know. But, um, but yeah, so I had the guilt, but I am currently 23, preg 23 pregnant. 23 weeks pregnant and I'm 22. I'm glad that I am in the age where I'm not young, but I'm not I'm not too young, but I'm not that old, you know. <laughs> and I always want to I always want to be a mom. And God bless me to be a mom right now. And I'm not gonna put mascara on because um for me I feel like mascara is so like deadly to me. So anyway, but yeah, so um I'm trying to freaking fade the light on. So yeah, so we found out and I came back home. I did it. I was excited to tell my family because they were like, You gotta give us a but you gotta give us a niece or a nephew, like you got to and stuff like that and I was like, mm, no, not for me though <laughs> and I told my parent. I told my sister the next day. They like, she came. She came to the house. I told my sister like, she said, "Oh my God, you look sick." And I was pale, girl. I didn't eat. I wasn't eating good because the smell and the stuff like that. If you, ladies who can relate, you guys know. You guys cannot eat when you're pregnant. Like you guys cannot eat at all. And so I didn't eat. <laughs> And I don't think I was losing weight. I was like, oh my god, I'm losing weight. But, <laughs> but it was just a pregnancy thing. And I told my sisters. And I told my sister the same night I came here. My husband didn't want wanted me to take the test. Because he was like, what if it's not true? Like, what if Guatemala test is wrong? Or, you know, and he didn't want to get his whole stuff. So my sister was like, just take a test here. So I, my sister had an extra test. And I just took it. And... It came out positive. I started crying here. <laughs> and, you know, I struggle in this pregnancy right now. I go through a lot of nerves and I go through a lot of anxiety. And I know a lot of people say it's so bad too for you to stress about a lot. I stress a lot because I'm scared to lose my first baby. and But, you know, God is there for me and he's with us right now. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my pregnancy story and how I found out I was pregnant. Hopefully you guys like the story. Um, I will put more videos if you guys um, want to know about me more. I would totally, totally um, freaking post a video about me or my husband if you guys want to know my husband. He, or, you know, like I will post videos. I want to start doing YouTube. Um. Every time I freaking say I'm going to do it, I don't do it because I always blame my freaking little brother. But it was, it's not him, it's me. So yeah, so if you guys, this is my makeup. I know it's not a lot like, oh my god, like girl, you should like freaking put mascara or something. I don't like putting mascara because I don't like freaking like rubbing my eyes so hard. I'm like, I'm already blind. Like, no, I'm, I'm, I don't want to do that. So anyway, so yeah. Hopefully you guys can continue liking my journey and uh, I will be vlogging about my baby shower and I will vlog like like how I decorate the place and stuff like that and yeah so if you guys want to stay tuned don't forget to subscribe comment and like also bye guys